Hey guys, Creator Bricks here, welcome back to the video. Today we're going to take a look at a 2021 LEGO Creator set, which is set 31111, that's a lot of ones, Cyberdrome. This includes 113 pieces, ages 6 and up, and retails for $10 USD. You get two bags and three instruction booklets for each model in this set. Here's one third of the set all built up, now let's take a look at that minifigure. According to the shop at home, this minifigure is plainly called Robot, but I'll just call him Space Cyborg because I think the name fits better. But as you can see, this minifigure has got metal gray legs and a torso piece, and you can see the reflection coming off the minifigure and on the torso you can see that this minifigure has a space logo that's why i call him the space cyborg and then on the back you can see more printing but the highlight of this minifigure is of course that translucent blue head that looks amazing this minifigure reminds me heavily of the robo guardians from the system sets back then which i think that is a nice callback to the old sets here is one out of the three builds in the set, which is the Cyber Drone. This looks really good. I love the color scheme, and the engines can move up and down like this. It's same with that side, and if you move on to the back, you may think that these can move, but unfortunately it can't because it's locked into place by these Technic pieces, and these flaps can move up and down like this. And this is a look at the underside of the drone, and if you open the cockpit, Take your minifigure and then sit him in there like this and then close it. That is what he looks like in there. My second favorite build or model in the set is the mech and this looks really cool. The feet can swivel. Unfortunately, there is no articulation on the legs so you could just probably slide it around like this if you want. And on the left side, you have this claw arm and this could potentially hold things like if you get your minifigure and hook it on there. It kind of doesn't work, so if you want, you could probably modify it. But on the right side, you have this blue cannon. There is a ton of articulation via ball points where you can move this up and down in 360 degrees. And these cannon pieces can also move up and down as well. There is also cockpit. And if you pull down this hatch, get your minifigure and then plop them on that 1x2 space and then close it up. Here is what it looks like. The futuristic like speeder build has to take my number one spot for least favorite build from this set. It's kind of plain plus I have another issue with it which is the front right here. The front of it looks very plain with that wide open spot. I don't know it just doesn't really work for me. But the front can move 360 degrees which are these engines right here. And the flaps at the back can move up and down same with these ones right here. There is blue energy coming out from the back, which represents these translucent blue pieces, which, yeah, I said it the other way around, but the there is a 1x2 space where you could plop your minifigure like this simply, and yeah, there's not really much with this build. The box size for this set is a $15 box size, and just by me saying that, you can already tell that this is a well done set with the price per piece ratio. And if we take a look at the back, you could see all the models in its glory. Taking a look at the first instruction booklet, which is based on the mech, if we flip all the way to the back, you could see an advertisement for the rest of the creator sets and another ad for the other ones, which I think that treehouse is really well done. I'll probably have to get that soon, I'm not sure. On to the Cyber Drone, this one is, yeah, of course the Cyber Drone, but if we flip all the way to the back, nothing in the back, but the same advertisement that appeared in the mech. And then finally onto the futuristic speeder, there is nothing except a win ad. So in the end, this is an amazing set. You get 113 pieces for $10, which is an absolute steal, a stellar looking minifigure with the translucent head, and three pretty good looking models that you can build. So overall, I rate the set a 10 out of 10. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe if you want to. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay creative, stay safe, and bye.